Before going into this break here, this is a place where recently you guys have had some success. How important do you, do you see it as maybe to get a little momentum going into the break? Uh, it's crucial for us. Um, we, of course, need, need the points more, now more than ever. Uh, and uh, after going to a break, it's good also to like, get a little bit of a relief. Uh, at least breathe a little bit mm -hmm. in the break um, because it's not like we we can uh, go right back to another game and try to get another point and mm -hmm. uh, it's crucial for us it's a um, it's an important game and we're gonna fight for it. Pedro was just saying that the past game was perhaps the most disappointing if not to him the, the whole team um, what why did it maybe feel that way for you if it did? Uh, I think because um, we are ready for the game, we felt like we are prepared mentally and physically. Uh, we had chances. Uh, I think we played well the first half yeah. until a little the beginning of the second half. And also because they played midweek and they traveled a long way, uh, and uh, we should have gotten a better, better result because all the odds would be a little bit better for us. And uh, that's why it felt a little bit maybe worse than the, than the other games. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, but every loss it has the same. Are you guys still able to turn around at, at this point, pick out the good parts and, and build on that, or or maybe week to week that becomes harder to do because the results haven't been there. Yeah, we we are we are all in. Uh, we still focused and. Uh, uh, Hopefully that we're gonna come back, um, and that's that's the feeling I get in the training field, in the training ground, in the locker room. Uh, nobody's giving up. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that it's not a good moment right now, but everybody's it's bought in. Everybody has the same uh, objective, and we we're trying to fix it. It's something that uh, we understand everything, like the disappointment, uh, the fans. Uh, they, they want more and we want to give more. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's the only thing that we, we're gonna always do, it's keep fighting. That's, uh, maybe there is some other points that we can talk about that we need to be better. I see a lot of talking about reinforcement and everything. But until then we just, we, uh, I want to, to, to tell them that we, we are sure that we're gonna give everything in the field and nobody here is gonna give up. We're gonna give everything and we're gonna fight until we can't anymore. With the, <clears throat> the the goals not coming the way that you guys would like them to, do you and Darlington in the central midfield feel more pressure to be involved offensively given that, that the goals aren't coming from that front three, front four that where, where they normally would? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, because we always uh, talk about how we can help a little bit more the team, whether it's building up or defending or transition or anything like that. And uh, it's something that we, we, we feel like we could do a little bit more. Of course, we have uh, in our position all the priorities instead of scoring. But uh, if we can, why not? Like, and even more when the team needs it. Needs it. Um, and uh, it's something we, we, we're trying. Of course, we cannot just like go all out and like leave like with the team exposed. But it's something that we, we always talk, whether it's like coming, making a late run or trying the set piece. I'm trying, I'm trying to be a little bit better in set pieces since I go to the box uh, to attack more. Uh, and that's, that's something that we, we're gonna keep working to help the team wherever we can. You I know you guys would prefer to have Lucas available every week, but you've had some games where he hasn't been able to play. I know he's questionable for this game. When he's not out there, how much does that change the job for the rest of the team? Because I know he attracts so much attention offensively. So how much different is it for, for the rest of you when he's not out there attracting that attention? Uh, of course, he, he's a playmaker. And uh, when he's not in the team, we've got to find other ways to, to create chances. and. Uh, and the score and uh, with different pieces maybe a little bit different maybe a little bit wider or runs in behind or combination like different combinations uh, and I think we, we had a good week to, to prepare uh, we, we understand what we need to do 
today's training was good to to get a little bit more of a better feeling how how we can create chances and uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna have chances to to to, to get some points in, in that game. Arthur, everybody that watches this team knows what a leader you are on the field. The last couple of games have been some uncharacteristic defensive mistakes that have led to goals. But throughout this season, this team has been really good defensively. How do you as a leader help reinforce that within your teammates, within yourself even, to know that you can go into Atlanta and get some points? Uh, it's just to, to keep the confidence high because everybody, uh, the team that we have, we have good players and uh, we are good, uh, not only the defensive team, but of course the, call, the goals are not coming, but also we can build from the back and we can control games in the middle. Uh, and that was uh, something that I noticed also before this last game that uh, LEA was the like kind of fighting for the supporters shield like in first place in the league. and. Uh, we had less goals conceded than them, and uh, that's that's where we can see a little bit of how our team is and the strength we have. Uh, and the only thing is just to keep focus because sometimes it can be mentally tough to work hard and uh, and things don't go away and then we don't score. And uh, sometimes it's easy to to lose focus for a little bit and. Teams are not forgiving us for that. They they are scoring, and uh, but we gotta do the the hard way. We gotta go the hard way and keep the mind right and keep working because it's the the only thing that we can do now. When looking at Atlanta United, the front four for them is really dynamic. Some good playmakers, and that's even without uh, Joseph Martinez up there. But what from you as a one of those players in the double pivot or defensively, how, how do you defend a front four who has so much motion like that? We gotta be aware of like the one be one. We gotta keep our legs moving, don't don't fall for uh, any like, tricks that they have because they are good uh, offensive players. Uh, we gotta communicate well because they have freedom to move and they have speed. Uh, Araujo is one of uh, my former teammates in Sao Paulo and uh, I haven't even talked to him because I don't want to, <laughs> I want to kill him right now. <laughs> and, uh, and I know the quality he has and also uh, the new players they, they, they got. Uh, we got to we gotta be smart, we got to be physical and uh, have a good communication. Thank you.